National Eating Disorders Awareness Week. And so all this morning, we've been talking about different elements of this disease, what causes it, treatment, recovery, and so forth. And with us now is a person who knows this disease uh, personally through a friend, Hillary Parham. Uh, glad you're with us. Now, you had a friend who passed away recently from one of these disorders. Tell us a little bit about that. What happened? Yes, actually, since I've been involved around cheerleading and gymnastics my whole life, I've had a lot of friends, but most recently, my best friend passed away from bulimia, and I, people just always see on the news, maybe a car accident or anything, they're like, oh, that's really sad, but that can never happen to me. Right. And, you know, I think girls with eating disorders, they think that as well. They just, they're so focused on... You know, looking good, they want to be this, or they just want to control something, and they don't realize that it's deadly. Right. And so it really does affect the people that they leave behind. So it's worth so much more to have your family or your sister or your friends around to live life than to lose Enjoy yourself. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I know it's in a competitive world like that, you're also yes. looking at yourself all the time. Yes. Your physical appearance and uh, just the way you behave around other yes. people. Yes. I wonder, you know, when people are in those situations, what, are there signs? Did you notice anything? How soon did you notice? I noticed day one, actually. But that's because she was my best friend. Right, and right. I was around her every single day. And like the doctor had said in the last segment, sometimes the symptoms are obvious, sometimes uh -huh. they're not. And I have a few things that are obviously not my best friend. It's just she just started saying she was nauseous all the time. And when I'm nauseous, I'm, I'm nauseous. I can't right. be in a car. I can't be anywhere. And so she would be nauseous, and then um, about five hours later when we were done with our little shopping trip or whatever, I could hear her in the bathroom, and I'm right. like, yeah. you know, I'm that's not silly. That's bulimia is, I guess you, yes. you eat and then purge. Yes, that's and happens. I think eventually, as far as everything goes, people, it does turn into anorexia because they realize, I don't want to throw up, so I'm not going to eat. Right. And then my other friend, I had a flyer with cheerleading, and she would take sleeping pills, and NyQuil just constantly, she was asleep, and I started wondering... I was like, right. why are you so tired? Oh, that's not and good. And she was doing it not to just not eat. Well, the, the important thing here is that, you know, folks recognize it, persuade them to get help. And after the break, we're going to hear from my uh, a family, a husband and wife who deal with this disorder. More on that. Hillary, thanks for coming in.